All right, here we go. Last one. So remember the first one, we just added the three together to find the total area. The second one, we found the area of the big thing and took these two away. And when we do this last one is this last one here, we're just going to do both of them real quick. Um, so what I can do, let's just start with the additive. I know that this one can be split up into three shapes. As you can see here, I have a rectangle. This is a red rectangle. I do have two different triangles too. Now I know these are different triangles because my base and height are not the same. And that's an important thing, that triangles are different area if they have different bases and heights. Um, so as I go through it, first things first, for me, I think rectangles are the easiest, so I'm gonna start with my rectangle. I'm gonna call this area one, let's say area R, because it's area red. Area of the red thing is three by four, so I know it's a base times height, which is the same as length times width. And the area of this rectangle is, I'm going to say, 3 by 4, so it's a total of 12. Okay. This area over here, area of the green. Area of the green, I know the area of a rectangle, or sorry, triangle is half the area of a rectangle, so it's half base times height. I have a base here of 2 and a height of 3, so it's going to be half of 2 times 3, so that's half of 6, and it's a total of 3. Up over here, I have the area of blue area of blue, blue rectangle, sorry, blue triangle. I know a triangle area is half of a rectangle, which is base times height. So here, half of three, and my height is three as well. So three times three. I put those all together. I have half of nine. Half of nine is 4.5. If I add all these up together, I have 12 plus three, that's 15 plus four, which is 19 and half a total of 19.5, okay? And like I said, we can go through the other way. If you didn't want to add these three together, a different way you could do it is I can say, all right, I'm actually going to use the big rectangle and I'm going to take away, um, I'm gonna take away this black one up here and I'm just gonna use another black one down there and we'll call this triangle one, triangle two, okay? So up over here, we can see, I can go again, the area of my entire thing, so the total area, what that equals is it's a base of one, two, three, plus four, because I know this one's four, so three, four, two, and that's a total of 10. So I have base times height, or length times width. Remember this is, ooh, was that 10? One, two, three, six, three, sorry, only nine. So that's nine by three, nine by three, and the total area of this big rectangle, nine by three, is going to be 27. All right, from 27, I can take away the area of triangle one. Area of triangle one, I've already calculated over here, is the half of the base times height. So it's half of two by three, which is half of six, which is a total of three. And of course, I can take away the area of, of my triangle two. So triangle two is again, three by three. I have half of the base times height, half of three by three. Half of three by three is half of nine. Half of nine is 4.5. So to calculate that out, I'm gonna do it and get my 27. I have total 27 and I subtract three. 27 minus three, that means I have 24. I take away four, so that means I'm at 20. And I take away 0.5 more, I'm left off at 